Welcome to the Lightning Fast Training Series with Informatica Cloud. In this short training video, I will show you how to synchronize tasks or to-dos from an external system with tasks or events in Salesforce. This is the ERD or Entity Relationship Diagram for activities in Salesforce. Before I show you how to use ICS to import tasks, there are a few important things you should know about tasks in Salesforce. The first important thing to note is that a task or event can be related to an account, opportunity, campaign, case, or other object. This is done via the What ID field on the task. For each task, this field contains the Salesforce ID for the related object. The second important thing to note is that a task is related to a lead or contact via the Who ID field. For each task, this field contains the Salesforce ID for the related contact or lead. The last thing to note is that a task can also be related to an account object via the account ID. Let's walk through the business scenario. Here is a snapshot of our source data. Note that each task has an account ID and a contact ID, as well as a status field, priority field, and activity date. The task ID, which is the unique identifier for the task in our source system, will be mapped to an external ID field on the task object. This will allow us to synchronize task data between the two systems. The company ID, which is the unique identifier for the company in our source system, will be mapped to the account ID and what ID fields on the task object. The contact ID, which is the unique identifier for the contact in our source system, and also the contact's email address, will be mapped to the who ID field on the task object. We'll also need to translate the values in the status field, Note that they contain numerical values in our source system and must be mapped to the corresponding Salesforce statuses. The same goes for the priority field. We'll also need to translate numerical values to their Salesforce equivalents. Before I show you how to do this in ICS, let's take a quick look at what an activity looks like in Salesforce. I'm going to go to the Contacts tab and look at one of my recent contacts, Bill Bean. I'm going to scroll down to the Open Activities section. Note that Bill Bean has a task. I'll click to edit it. Note that the task contains details such as a subject, due date, priority, and status. Also note that the task is linked to the contact, Bill Bean. This is the Who ID for the task. Also note that this task is related to an account. This is the what ID for the task. I could optionally relate this task to another object, such as a campaign, case, opportunity, or solution. I'm going to cancel this page. Before I leave Salesforce, there's one more thing I want to show you. Because we are going to upsert tasks, I need to have an external ID field defined on the task object. To create this field, I'm going to click on Setup then Customize, then click on the Activities object. Note that tasks and events are considered activities in Salesforce. I'm then going to scroll down and click on Activity Custom Fields. Note that I have already defined the external ID field. I will click to edit the field. Note that the external ID option is selected. I am now ready to synchronize tasks from an external system. Now I am ready to create a data synchronization task in ICS. To create a new task, I will click on Data Services tab, and then click the New button. I will enter a name for my task. and select Upsert for the operation. I will now select my connection and source data file. For my target, I will select my Salesforce connection and the target object task. I don't need to define any data filters, so I'll skip this step. Now I need to define the field mappings. 
Notice that ICS has automatically mapped many of the fields for me, including activity date. I'm going to add an expression to this field. I'm going to use the toDate function to ensure that the date in my source file gets converted into a date format that Salesforce will recognize. I'll validate my expression and click OK. Next, for the status and priority fields, I need to handle the translation of the numerical values in my source file to their corresponding values in Salesforce. To do this, I'll use the expression editor again. I'll use the decode function to translate the values. and validate the expression. I'll do the same for the status field. All of the tasks that I am importing have a value of 1 or not started, so I only need to add that to the decode statement. Next, I'll map the comments field to the description field in Salesforce. I'm going to map company ID to the account ID and what ID fields in Salesforce, since I will be relating these tasks to their accounts. I'm going to map contact ID to the who ID in Salesforce, but remember that Salesforce is expecting the Salesforce ID for the contact, and our source file contains the contact's email address. To resolve this, I'll need to do a lookup in Salesforce. I will select my Salesforce connection and the contact object for the lookup. I will then select contact ID in my source file and email as a lookup field in Salesforce. I will then select ID as the output field. This will return the Salesforce ID for the contact. The last field I need to map is the task ID. I'll map this to the external ID field. The last thing I need to do is click the Related Objects button. Here, I'll select the external ID fields for the account and what relationships. This will swap the external ID for the account with the actual Salesforce ID. Note that I don't need to do this for the Who ID because we are looking up the contacts Salesforce ID. I'm now finished with my mapping and can validate it. Now I'll click the Save button to save my task, and then click the Run button to run my task. Once the task has completed running with no errors, I can return to Salesforce 
and view my contact Bill Bean. You'll notice when I scroll down to the Open Activities section, two new activities have been added to Bill Bean's contact. This means that my data synchronization task ran successfully, and tasks from my third-party system have now been synchronized with Salesforce.